So today we will talk about the hypoglycemia. It's a very, very important topic of endocrinology. And as the name shows, hypoglycemia means decrease in the blood glucose level. And it's very important to recognize this condition and to uh, act rapidly to, uh, because it can be really very fatal if it's not diagnosed and treated fast. So first thing which we will see here is uh, that's the normal that's the picture showing the uh, glucose level in the blood. So in the normal individual, that's the blood glucose level. You can see, and when there is hypoglycemia, it's low glucose in the bloodstream. So this is the picture of the blood vessel, and it's showing the bloodstream and the glucose level in the bloodstream. That's the normal. You can see a lot of blood glucose present, glucose here. These cubes are of glucose. And here, if it's hypoglycemia, then there is decreased level of glucose in the blood. And usually, if the level is less than uh, 55 milligram per deciliter, that's known as the hypoglycemia. So blood glucose level less than 55 milligram per deciliter in the blood is hypoglycemia. And the range normally we do for the uh, uh, blood glucose is from 70 to 110 milligram per deciliter. That's the level of the fasting blood glucose level. And anything above 200 is considered as the diabetic and below from 110 to about 180 is considered like the uh, non-fasting or random blood glucose level. So hypoglycemia again decreased glucose in the blood and the range for that is anything or glucose level below 55 is hypoglycemia. The Whipple's triad. Whipple's triad is the triad is consists of three characteristic features. Whipple's triad that represent hypoglycemia. And what's included in Whipple's triad? We have four symptoms of hypoglycemia. Then we have low plasma glucose and the relief after giving the blood glucose. So all these three features are uh, the, uh, they constitute Whipple's triad. So first symptoms of hypoglycemia, very characteristic features of hypoglycemia are present usually a person feel dizzy and shaky and because glucose is the a source of energy for the brain. And the brain doesn't store glucose for a very long time, doesn't have the storage ability. So we need constant supply of blood glucose for the uh, normal functioning of the brain. So that's important. First symptoms of hypoglycemia appears then once we take the glucose level rapidly, you see the blood glucose level is low, less than 55 milligram. And then after that, very, very rapid response. After we give the glucose to the patient who is hypoglycemic, there is very quick recovery of the patient and then there is rise in the plasma glucose levels. So all these three features, if present, they are known as Whipple's triad, and it's a very, very characteristic for the hypoglycemia. 